I'm at Portland Nursery on Stark Street with Susie Hancock. And Susie, you know, as vegetable gardeners, we love to start early in the season. And so you have an unusual vegetable that really is a spring um, harvest. So tell us all about this one. This is asparagus. Ah! Aspar of course. <laughs> you couldn't recognize it, no, no. Here, I'm sure. Um, but asparagus is a vegetable worth waiting for. Mm. Asparagus, you want to give a little extra care to it when you plant it. You want to put a little extra energy into what you're doing. Um, we How can, do we do that then? Well, you can do asparagus one of two ways. You can grow them in raised beds or you can grow them in rows, which is the traditional way. Either way, they need to have a trench about 18 inches or so deep. Wow. You really want to um, um, put Lime. a lot of compost sure. and lime. Lime is really important. Ah. Um, our soils are on the edge of mm, their pH range. They really um, like more of a neutral pH range. Mm. So you want to get that lime in there while you're planting. The other important thing is when you do plant them, because they have these long roots radiating out, you want to put a mound of soil underneath them so that you really get good contact between the roots and the soil and no more than two inches of soil above the crown. This is what the crown looks Look like. It's that. all these little, this is where the asparagus will come a up from. A lot of from. growing tips, that's great. Mm -hmm. And as it matures and gets, and each year goes by, this crown will get larger and it'll grow this way as well. So it's very important also that you don't plant them too close together. They recommend at least 12 inches inches apart. Um, the roots touching can get um, um, botrytis problems and so it's, it's really best that they have some space between them. So this we're going to plant it and then it's going to start growing. So mm -hmm. can I harvest this year? Probably not. Ah. These are three-year crowns. Usually you get between two and three-year crowns at the nurseries and it's really best to let them establish themselves the first year. Um, the, the second year may be a couple and it's not until the third year after planting that you do any serious harvesting. And of course it depends on, I'm sorry, it depends on oh. the variety as well. Oh sure, and then what kind of varieties do you have here? We carry three of them now. We carry Jersey Knight, um, Sweet Purple, and Mary Washington. Ah, favorites for all? We should all try a couple of each or mix there, them? You can there's mix them. a little bit of difference between them. The Jersey Knight, of course, is an all-male variety. And what that does is it gives you um, asparagus. It doesn't put its energy into producing seeds. Ah. And Mary Washington, of course, is actually produces both male and female plants. Oh, interesting. Um, Sweet Purple is a variety that has about 20% higher sugar content than the other two. And it's really um, one that's very good for fresh eating. Oh, nice. People use it for salads that type of thing. And it's pretty. It ha does have a and little purple cast to too, it. Yes. How pretty. Yes, something different. And so if we're not going to be um, harvesting this year, so mm -hmm. the stalks may come up, and but mm -hmm. then you get those beautiful foliage. Yes. So should we leave that until the fall? You do need to leave that. Of course, that's going to um, replenish the crown. Um, when I grow mine um, in raised beds, I put some wire on top of the bed, of course, to keep the cats and oh, other oh, little sure. squirrels, other marauders, out of the bed and scratching it up. And then as they grow, I lift it up and tie them off to posts and that gives them support because it's important that that feathery growth that comes up um, doesn't fall over and break and, and then of course then it doesn't do any good for the crown. Oh that's a great idea so you're giving it some support and really and it's making it prettier too. Yes <laughs> yes all in one. <laughs> so Susie I'm waiting three years until I can harvest so how long can I um, harvest from that bed then? That's why you spend so much time preparing mm. it ahead of time because it's not unheard of for asparagus beds to last 20 years plus. Wow, wow. Mm. So you can hear that wonderful tip. So make sure that you pick that site really well that you can have a 20 year asparagus bed. They have great information on the Portland Nursery website. So go to that website or go to Garden Time and we'll click you over to that website. Come out to Portland Nursery and pick up your asparagus roots and get your bed started this weekend. Thanks so much, Susie. Thank you, Judy.